Here's a quick demonstration of a building or roof aerial inspection presented as a full 3D model. So when we arrive on site, we'll have the drone fly backwards and forwards in a uh, fixed pattern, taking photos down of the roof and also into the gutters or any other areas of interest. And if we look at those images, you can see here from the drone, it's working its way across the roof. And if we can zoom in on those and see the sort of resolution and, and detail that's resolved. So you can see here um, every nut and bolt in that roof structure is uh, resolved in the imagery. So we can take all those images and run it through our data processing software to produce a 3D model like this one um, where you can see, see the roof and, and the entire site. Um, and it's quite intuitive to uh, use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out and, and also drag and, and orbit around to uh, give a, a quick overview of the condition of the roof before then uh, dropping in to look at, at other details. So if we zoom in, you can see the same level of detail as shows up in the original images. Um, you can see the, the bolts holding the roof sheeting on, for example, uh, anchor points, um, sticks and leaves that are, that are on the roof at the moment. And um, you can see here that it is a full 3D structure. Uh, it's not just a 3D model of, of the building itself, but actually the um, structure within the roof is captured in the model. And so it's a great way of um, having a quick look around and um, as well as from the roof inspection point of view, it's also very useful for a general site inspection. So um, for example, we might uh, look around and make an assessment of whether all the um, signage uh, is in place from a safety compliance point of view and that the um, emergency exits are clear and that there's no objects uh, blocking any of the exits and, and so on and just in general have a look around the site and, and see what's there. So um, from a, a central management perspective um, it's great to just be able to look around these sites and, and get a good feel for uh, exactly what's there without needing to uh, have boots on the ground. And finally if we did find a defect and we we're going to send out a work crew to um, get up on the roof and uh, make some repairs, they can use this to assess uh, their access to the roof as well. So whether they need a ladder or an elevated work platform, if we zoom in on the um, ladder uh, attachment point here, we can make a visual judgment of uh, what sort of length ladder that we're after. But also being a full 3D model, um, we can take a quick measurement off that. So we'll just measure from uh, the roof to the ground below and so just checking that that's got the right um, sort of measurement there and you can see that the distance is uh, four meters so um, yeah the 3d model helps not just from a, a quick roof inspection and overview point of view but as well as um, site overview and access and uh, when when sending contractors out to site they can do a bit of a recce before they even get there and know exactly uh, what to expect on the other end